All right, guys. As you can tell, spring is upon us. Starting to get nice out. What we happen to be speaking about today is another reaction sort of video where I'm going to be reacting to bathroom A and bathroom B. Now, a long, long time ago, this was once a gas station. Not to mention how much it cost to remove the tanks out of the ground. That's probably a vlog for another day. An expensive, uh, an expensive environmental type of deal. Um, but like I previously said, this building used to have two bathrooms and we've decided over the past week the contractor didn't even think that we were totally serious <laughs> but in terms of wheelchair accessibility compliance I felt like overall it was the best thing to do to the building um, because part of me even if the studio isn't successful, we'll be able to turn around to a commercial um, renting or leasing company and ultimately rent this place out for more than it had previously been able to be rented out for. And a lot of the previous companies that had worked in this building were pretty rough on the building, right? Machine shops, uh, car, auto shops, body shops, pretty, pretty tough. You know, as you can see, we haven't gotten to the floor yet. That's another big, big goal, whether or not we use a self-leveling concrete and paint, but that's, that's another topic for another vlog. But like I said, this building used to be a gas station at one point. So we did have the two bathrooms, but as you can see in my previous vlog, and as you'll see you know, a little bit later in this one, that we needed to extend the square footage of the door opening. So that was a very important thing. Um, yes. <laughs> so this is my reaction. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights so I can see better. It's a raw reaction. Oh wow, they went all the way to that side. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. They went all the way to the wall. Wow, that's amazing. All right, I'm gonna turn off. Turn off the fan, turn on the lights. You can tell that it's my raw reaction because I didn't plant these lights in here already. Um, and the bathroom still looks decent. Um, I haven't really ever done a full vlog on the bathroom, but it was probably my first priority, just from the standpoint that I want people to be able, feel comfortable being here. Um, so we went ahead and got, you know, the new toilet. Um, it looks like we've got a little bit of damage over there. Um, so this would be bathroom A, you would call it. Um, potentially down the road, a shower. No guarantee on that, but that's just a little bit of a uh, hint. Wow, this is... This is pretty, pretty decent, guys. And as you can see, our furnace basically blocks this door. So whether or not we move it or this just won't be handy accessible, that that's what the 
bathroom A will be. Um, but it's pretty shocking to see um, it go all the way over to this side of the wall. Um, but I believe these are open 36 inches. Um, and this will kind of give you guys an idea from Studio B that, yeah, the bathroom B is pretty unaccessible. And then you come over to bathroom A, and yeah, they don't have any of the markings on the wall anymore, but um, I believe 36 inches or so. All right. Now, if this gives you any bit of an idea how narrow these doors are, let me turn down the, there we go. It's a little bit better. It's dark, but the quality is a lot better. Um, and just to kind of finish up the vlog of my reaction, uh, we've got the two new doors here. So those are ready to go. Um, we had Laverne out with Torin last week. Just had to go ahead and pull the trigger on it. Um, Trace was talking to me about a live stream as well, which has been pushed, um, but yeah, I mean, the bathroom is pretty important to any production, so I'm just, you know, working around construction. Obviously, people need a door on their bathroom, um, so that'll probably be the next step. The contractor said he'll be back in about four or five days. It was quite a workout, According to him, his arms were sore, so as much turmoil as I've had, you know, not being able to film the work, I at least need to say that I'm appreciative of the work getting done, nevertheless, and so, you know, big shout out, and I know I haven't been on my podcast grind with, as you can see, all that concrete work. This building just turns into a dust mess, and I don't want to get all my electronics all dusty before the studio even opens up. And the contractors asked me not to have any events, not to have any gigs, and although I'm trying to work around it, um, as far as my own content, um, it's quite a lot to set up and tear down. So. That just kind of gives you guys a little bit of an idea. Um, we did clear out most of this room for the Torin recording. Um, they did use this back right corner. Um, so that was interesting to see uh, versus the more lit corner. So maybe, you know, we could talk to them and see you know, what they thought about the studio. Laverne's been wanting to get on the podcast, so he'll probably be one of the first people that I hit up to, you know, kind of get his feedback on how he liked the studio, maybe some uh, changes or some suggestions that he may have. So um, I want to give a big shout out to Laverne. You know, the second gig besides Monster Energy, um, you know, shout out Monster Energy. They just had their concert uh, virtually this past weekend. So, you know, big shout to Up and Up Festival. They were our first gig. Laverne came in last week. So, you know, just working around construction. And, you know, I really appreciate your guys' uh, patience, you know, whether or not it's in my podcast or, you know, in the studio itself. You can really tell the echo difference between this room and Studio C. Obviously, there's quite a bit more stuff in here as well. Um, but, yeah. You know, that basically this was the update for the bathrooms in Stone Lake Studios. Stone Lake Studios Bathroom A and Stone Lake Studios Bathroom B. So, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And if you guys haven't yet, please click the link in my bio and check out my YouTube channel where you can watch the rest of this series and much, much more. 
And as always, I'm Anthony Marshall, and we'll see you.